certain topics is not the channel for you okay so uh you have a lesson that we're going to be you know through this year we're going to talk about you know redemption but either way we're going to let the spirit flow but before we get into any of that we're going to face the east and give all praise and honor and infinite glory to yahawah bashir yahawah shai bashir rakak with us Salutations to all your hopeful and doctors that are out there laboring on the streets of Babylon and throughout the world in true and in sincerity, you know. So like I said, we're going to be going through the spirit, but at the end of the day, you know, we put the last prophecy, the last day's prophecy, which is the, the MOT to the beat, World War III, and the collapse of America, as you know it. You know, your dollars is going to be nothing but toilet paper. There's going to be no water, no food, no nothing, man. And so how do you get yourself safe? You got to do repentance, which is open up to Israel only, man. Because Yahweh Shai redeemed us with the cross. You know, he was the one that opened up those seven seals that allowed us to understand the scriptures that we're going to be able to bring out. Uh, yeah, I got one scripture right here because uh, this word count has been, it's been a while that we got here. This, uh, this, uh, uh, there is uh, one or two Christians. Like last week, there was another group that came. And, uh, I think it's your home of wickedness. Yeah, the home of wickedness. Uh, yeah, we can do that. And uh, the wife and the daughter, you know. And what we were talking about, that uh, everything what they say, what they're doing, or what they're teaching, is not true because what they've been doing is teaching lies. Christianity is teaching lies. It's been teaching lies for centuries. Alright? So, but in these last times, the Awa Bahashim Awashai, the power of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, uh, Hispanic, and Native American descent, uh, 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 you are the chosen ones, and this, this truth is for you. Alright? Hey, what we're saying, it will come, it will come to pass because what we're doing is bringing the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So we we're here to teach you the elect of the nation of Israel, the ones that are gonna receive this truth. Okay, the ones that get going to be sanctified, separated from Babylon. Okay, and this is the book of Corinthians. Uh 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 First uh, Corinthians chapter one and verse two, and to the church of Yahweh Bahashem Shai is at Corinth. Corinth, yeah. Corinth to them that are sanctified in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, uh, calling to be saints with all that every. That all that in every place call upon the name of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord, both there, theirs and ours. Okay, so this is Yahweh Shai is the Lord. The ones that are going to come to get this truth, so the ones that are teaching this truth, and even us. So we come here to teach uh, the true names of the Father and His Son, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Alright? Those are the only ones that are going to get this truth are the hopeful elect, man. The ones that are going to be separated from every every uh, uh, doctrine in every nation around the, wor the world. They're going to lessen this, man. They're going to understand. They're going to, they have the seal, but the only thing the Father is, uh, is the one that's going to bring them uh, out of darkness 
or confusion, you know? But especially from here, America, Babylon. See, that's one of the things that a Christianity teach or, or be taught to uh, uh, for centuries Why? to our people, okay? They're saying he put, he put himself as a God, all right? But he's not a God, man, he's just a man. And Jehovah Shai, our Lord, he's gonna show him who is a real God, who is the real power, all right? And, and, and the chosen one, because uh, you guys can see today, uh, we're here fulfilling prophecy. We're back, okay? okay? We're back teaching the Bible the right way. Got it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Break down the scripture. This, uh, this is the scripture talking about Babylon the Great, which is the U.S. of A. This is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And with the, also where our Lord was crucified, that what the, what the brother just showed. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's correct. Showing that this is our Lord. And then we know this is all false based on Revelation chapter 1, because it explains what Yahweh I looked like. And they've been feeding this to us, they fed this to us on the plantation, they fed this to us all these years, saying, this is our Lord, we, well, we all know, based on history, that's Caesar Borgia. Yeah. And looking in the mirror, looking in the mirror, that, that don't look like a so-called black, that don't look like a so-called Latino, Native American man. Like a brother, Mexican. Yeah, brother yeah, like raised that, uh, we should be uh, uh, laid down like this, laid down on the, the uh, uh, great city, which is America. And that's from uh, uh, three, uh, 350 years that we stay in slavery. That's when we lost our identity as an Israelite. And also they took uh, 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 language, they took our, uh, 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 the name of, of the, or, or God, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So man, this, this devil worked, uh, 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 he, he did a pretty good job, man, by taking it down. Not only to conquer us, to put us in a slavery, but he really takes everything from us, man. That was, uh, it was from 1692 to about 1970s. You know, they were pushing uh, what's called iconoclasm, which any so-called true images, they swapped out and painted white pictures of Jesus. They knocked the nose off, off the statues to cover up the southern kingdom that ruled and built Europe so-called white angle saxon caucasian you didn't build anything except crawl out the caves and then climb into the castles after the people that built them were dead and uh, of your diseases that you brought into the town you know hence the bubonic plague which was the judgment sent on the southern kingdom because there had to be a time where they got so weakened to the point where the edomites that crawled out the caves took over and then they pushed out their images once they had even an ounce of power. And the first thing that they did, because they knew how powerful it was, was change the image of our Lord, man. So some white, white Jesus changed his name, uh, 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 invented the letter J to, you know, to, to uh, help uh, fake the name that they pushed. They even went, imagine there's an established alphabet, and they went out of their way to add a whole nother letter just to push their uh, 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 lives and they've been pushing down people's throats and plantation Christianity and white people. Because that's what it was. Because in the 1611, there's no J's. And this, and this book wasn't written thousands of years ago, man. The letter J is less than 600 years old. You know, that, that sound itself is not even in the paleo language. But even, even uh, the people know, know this, man. They don't care. Like, they really... They don't care, man. Like they, they act uh, like they're oh, it Doesn't matter. They live in denial. Yeah, like they, oh, they act like oh, you know, like they're, they're not looking somewhere else. Well, that was the past. Yeah. And we were pissed, but they, they, they still push that in, man. Just like that. Man. That's funny, but the way you say, that, like uh, how it sounds like. You know? Hey, but the same thing goes for us, man. Because an Edomite could come up to us. I don't care if it's Evelyn Rothschild, the most wicked man, and he says, hey man, I'm gonna give each one of you brothers a million dollars 
just don't put me in slavery. Hey, man, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be like, hey, thank you, Evelyn Rothschild. We're gonna take that money, and then when the time comes, Lord willing, we're those men, man. We're gonna slap shackles on him, you know, just just like he didn't give us anything, man. And, and yeah, he's gonna say, it. just like Apostle the Heart said, that was cracking me up. Hey, I gave you a million dollars. I thought you were gonna put me in slavery. Hey, now, I, I, I repent. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I repent. Hey, hey, you gotta go, man. Hey, that's how it would be, man. That's, that's how they, does. how they, uh, uh, yeah. combine, uh, uh, what is the simple? Yeah, yeah. Simple just means ignorant. Simple means a hey, uh, people that don't know, that don't don't pay attention to. And if you don't know what the fuck's going on right now, it's because you're really not even taking the chance to look. Everybody's got a computer in their phone. Everybody's got a computer in their pocket to lock you. And the, the quote that I always say, man, in the age of information, ignorance is a choice, man. You're choosing. To fucking be ignorant so you don't have to think about these things that are going on in the world like uh like a lot of people think and i've had people tell me this say what is the benefit of me knowing any of that like and then we were talking about poisons in your food i'm like man so you stay away from me and he said well what what, what does that make me any happier because that's all all these fucking dumbass people want to think about oh so am i gonna be happy Oh, how am I going to be able to get happier, man? Well, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you're not in this business to be happy, man. You're in this business to barely get by, serve your punishment, and, and, and pray this place ends like yesterday, man. Hey, that, those, those people are invested in, yeah. in the so-called white man's uh, kingdom exactly. and, and, and his government. The so-called white man is Esau Edom. Esau is the father progenitor of the so-called white race, which they're not white, they're red. And that's why the devil's colored red all over because he's... Uh, Edom, yeah. Edom meaning red all over. Edomites is your uh, your nationality of being a so-called white person, but it's called an Edomite, just like how we, if, Hebrew, we are Hebrew Israelites. Like I've been, uh, I've been, even even what the brother is saying is it's another lie. Yeah. That uh, uh, there is a, uh, uh, a people, a race that is white. That is uh, 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 creation of the Edomites to hide. They ident the biblical identity, man. Yeah, it was actually, a, it was like a German, and I can't remember exactly what his name was, but that was a new construct that they yeah. the late, like, yeah. Yeah. The 81, I think he, he uh, that's when they start putting a, white. like, white, black, yeah. yellow, Mongolian. brown. Mongolian. Yeah. And they tried classifying man into five different categories, and there's 17, there's 17 nations. other nations outside the nation of Israel. So there's 17 heathen nations, but there's eight. There's 18 total different so-called, uh, uh, how do you say, so-called races in the world. You know, we're all nationalities. Nationalities. The water. And the, uh, and the father created them because we all come from Adam, man. Okay. Yeah. But the father separate them. You know, to yeah, that's the way he put, put the, uh, the man on earth because he don't want us all be one single nation or being together like he thought or the. Uh, 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 the tower of the tower, tower of Babel yeah. wanted to be. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, man. We wanna come uh, to power. We're not uh, gonna bring any any uh, Japanese, uh, Chinese, or uh, 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 any other nation to come and rule with. Yeah, the Lord likes variety. He's not gonna puff us out like robots that we're all the same people, all the same place, all the same everything. No, man. Even Israel, even within Israel itself, man. He didn't want this only one nation looking like the so-called black man, you know, the black man, you know how the, the fucking world says, but hey man, that's Judah, that's one tribe, man. you know, and we're not all so-called Negro only Israelites, man, the Lord deals with variety, and with that being said, there is going to be some Israelites that look like Edomites, look like Moabites, and as fucking much as I hate to say it, those uh, small hat pickles too, man, even some of them, the, you know, they are, they are, man, and, and, and we have to say that, because that's the truth, man. We got to take our emotion out of it. We're not some uh, 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 women out here that are going to think emotionally based and not logically based. You have to understand that scripture needs to talk about Israelite foreigners waking up in these last days as well, man. That spirit is coming out. And the longer you can the more you can identify the Israelites yeah, you're talking with one. And even if it looks like you can. But, you know, and that is all through the redemption of what our Lord Yahweh Shai did for us by opening up the seven seals and allowing us to comprehend and understand what we're teaching. I'm sorry, what was that, man? You good? I have no idea, man. Uh, I don't know, this just seems like a strip of bars, so you keep walking down that way, I'm super blind. Yep, take care.
Yeah, because here it is in St. Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. Sorry, chapter 21, verse 25. And these, no. And there shall be signs 